Is that the sound of margaritas? Maybe. Didn't we just do that last night? Are you making the next ones? I think I need another one. It's empty, so it's your turn to make more margaritas. Can you help me with this? What? To like roll this up, but then there's like little buttons in here to attach them so they don't keep falling down and driving me crazy. Oh, hey there. Hi. I was wondering what that sound was. <laughs> hey, just to let you know, there is no camping in this area. Yeah, I'm going dirt bike. And... Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I just let you know there's no overnight stays in anything. Oh, for sure. I know. We are all, we've just been all over, right? No worries. I just want to make to let you know. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Because well, I know BLM will come and cite you if you are. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Okay, thank you, sir. Morning dance. Yeah, you're going to share, huh? All right, where are we going? Courtside. Courtside. To see all the white-haired folk RV life. Here. Oh yeah. All right, we're getting close to the dam. Mr. Parker's dam. So it says passenger vehicles only. There you go. It said there was a nine ton limit. There's nothing to see here. Super C, yeah. So here's on the app, there's Plumosa BLM guys, and then Quartzsite is just below us, south. There you go, there's a classic Safari Edition. Oh, yeah, pulls his bike along. We have it guys, Plumosa Road. Anyways guys, we're just outside of the Plumosa Road as you saw on the sign. A lot of campers are actually heading north to the Plumosa campground from Quartzsite already. As you can see, they're all heading that way. So 
I must be really busy when we get down to courtside. We'll All right, guys, we're getting registered. 40 bucks for a day for the long-term visit area or 180. What is this guy doing? Camper? Just don't block a main road. What did I say? What did she say? She said there was someone with an orange vest on to put your permit on or just make... <laughs> See? He was, I, saw, I was like, I thought he was cleaning my windows. <laughs> and there's the other one right here. <laughs> Pardon me? Uh, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, he said that, uh, he's like, hey, do you guys know you have a towel hanging off the back of the RV? Sure do. All right. Cool. So you can see on the map, guys, here, we're going to try to get most north back to where the show is up here. And, uh, and then find our way through. Oh, there's the tent right there, even. We will find a perfect spot. Look at that cool camper. Cool truck too. Oh yeah, it's an old school truck. We, we gotta go one wheeling. Oh, there's one of those Tigers. It's like a truck camper box built in. Yeah, those are kind of cool, the Tigers. A little small in the quarters, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty good. Living the dream. Living the dream. Howdy. I still think they look like a cowgirl. Yeah. You just need the hat. Get your socks, skirt, and ready to go. One wheeling. Let's do this. And the adventure begins. All right. So you're in the Ozarks. No, I mean the court sites. On the dirt, you're probably one of the first one-wheeling quartziders. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Especially with those socks. <laughs> oh look, it's one of the first time overlanders. Like, let's check it out. Oh, there's a left hand drive sticker, yeah. Man. <clears throat> is this your rig by chance? No, no, no. no, no. This is the dream, the 46 inch tires. 46 inch tires, guys. They got the dual glass windows sealed. You know, like how they have them in the Bliss and everything. And film, <coughs> yeah. It gives me good moving pan shots. You do, you do, you don't need a gym for it. Yeah, so we've been researching, like spending a whole hell of a lot of money on something like this. Obviously in North America, it's tough. You know, you get the man truck. We'd all love a man truck or a Unimog, but you can't import them into the U.S. or Canada unless it's 20 or 15 years old, right? Really? Yeah, so you, you can't bring new... It's 20 years in the U.S. and 15 in Canada. It has to be old, right? Otherwise... He lifted his... Oh, yeah. It's another one from Germany, yeah. It's the same one we saw at the campground before. Oh my God, this is so sweet. We'll have to come find them. The man, yeah, yeah, it's the most popular one. Like this is the TGM 13290. So it's a 13, it's a 13 ton truck. It's a 13 ton truck. And the motor is a 290 horsepower diesel. You know, it's gonna make a thousand, 1200 torque, whatever. Um, sometimes they have entire central and tire inflation systems. This one doesn't. Um, it's gonna get you. Yeah, yeah, go for it. 
Go for it. Okay, you see interesting people in Quartzsite. Now look at this dude here. He's videoing me while I video him, but the thing that he's got over me is... I'm balanced. I'm having fun. At double fun. Uh, what are you doing, man? It's a, it's like a, a hoverboard. It's like, you know, McFly. McFly, right? Marty and McFly. You one too? Yeah, yeah, she's on it too. Uh, hard to ride? Oh yeah, very oh, hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a few, you got elbow pads? No. No, no. Sometimes I wear like um, hip pads. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can hurt your hip or your shoulder. It's hip or shoulder. How long does the battery last? Uh, maybe 20 miles in this one. 20 miles I could go. So we'll go to the show. We'll probably ride around the show on this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm filming. I'm still filming. Look, it's got the nice locks. It's so much departure angle. Ah, I'm so jealous. Not much cooler than this guy. What's your name, man? Marcel. Marcel Ernie. Marcel I have a YouTube Marcel. channel, too. It's on my hat. Oh, uh, where are you from, man? From Kelowna, BC, Canada. Oh, Canada, eh? Yeah. Well, you don't say A. Only in Ontario do they say A. Um, it, I mean... <laughs> so how do you know so much about this stuff? About uh, this? Um, I've been researching it for, uh, you know, about a year on and off. Okay, so you're about, in the racing business? I race motorcycles for a living, or I used to. I got semi-retired before the bullshit 19 cut down the border and I couldn't travel, right? Oh. I used to race like in the States mostly. How many and times have you broken your collarbones? I broke my collarbone BMX jumping as a kid. BMX oh. jumping, you know, like the BMXs. Um, I've been pretty fortunate with road racing. You know, only oh, I broke maybe. Is that where you go left and right. And you lean and drag, you drag, oh, your, your, you drag your knees and now you drag elbows. Germany, Austria, the Netherlands. Um, there's tons of companies. There's one in Britain as well. And they all build these and a lot of people, there's a lot of market for it. So there's one called Action Mobile, which is one of my favorites in Germany. Um, there's Krug, K-U-R-G, which is another Germany one. There's a company called Bliss that makes just the camera box and then they'll put it on a chassis oh, okay. and now they're selling Bliss in, Canada, in the US. So they're actually putting these in shipping containers, ship them over, and then you put them on an F550 or a semi truck or a Kenworth. A 550 would hold it. This a 13 footer, 13 footer. This is yeah. a 20 footer. It looks like, right? Wow. So yeah, these things weigh a ton. Like all of this thick body, the body's thick. It weighs a lot. This thing, look, it, it's a freaking 13 ton truck. It weighs how many? Is 13 tons. 26,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's 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 a big truck. So my anyways. Yeah. Son races bikes, bicycles. Bicycle up racing. Up and that's why they bought an RV. Oh yeah, yeah. With no motors. No motors. And what are you doing at Quartzsite? I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the video business. So we're you're in the video. You're doing a YouTube too, or a website? Yeah. We have a, a weekly show called the Camper Report Show. The Camper Report Show. Yeah. All right. You'll, I'll, I'll, you'll, I'll, you'll get a piece on my channel. I got 184,000. Oh, look, he's got the storage box up top. Yep. And he wrapped. He's, this is like going to be an antenna. What is he doing with the wrap? Oh, uh, we're just down the way and camping in our truck camper. Oh, you No, we drove here. With a slide on truck. Yeah, yeah, Northern Light 10-2. Northern Light 10-2. So you're done racing. Uh, I'm not racing at the moment. I didn't bring the race bikes, just but the I mean, dirt bike. But I mean, career-wise, you done or you still racing? Um, I, um, I did a couple races this year, 
just got dabbled in for a month to try to re-get back into it. And I'm thinking about to continuing next year, just not at full time, you know, not traveling the whole country, just stick to the West Coast, you know, just more for fun. I think I realized with being retired that it's like, this is a lot of work. Racing is a hard work. It's dangerous and hard work. And now I'm more concerned about getting injured and it's about spending a ton of money for fun factor. Because you're older. So now I enjoy one wheeling. I enjoy camping. You know, I enjoy side by side and I enjoy dirt biking and I enjoy super bike racing. I, I, I want to do them all. So the bikes are those ones with the big ass tires? Uh, road racing. Check it out. It's like a 2002 or three. No, those front headlights. It could just be changed the grill. It could be a 2099 or up to 2003 F550, guys, with the 73. Unless it switched over to the six liter in uh, 2004, or was it three? But and then he's pulling a huge trailer. Look at that, freaking awesome, freaking awesome. Those are hard to find. Those are gems, trucks. That's a big one, hey. In Montana. <laughs> That's what she said, huh? That's a big one. <laughs> I, I was late on the draw. Late on the draw. Hey there, sir. Hey. And then look, there's another 10 too, but they look longer than new ones. Like the back looks like it sticks out even further. On a single wheel. Single wheel. Are you sharing that drink today? <laughs> Whoa. You've been talking a lot. Talking. Whoa, we got a dog. <laughs> That's pretty good if you ask me. She's doing awesome. 